Hello guys, welcome to Tara Arts Movie Tutorial and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to create a actually how to add some materials and light to the table that we are already create from our last tutorial. So if you render it out by press F9 on your keyboard, it will look very very awful. It's like a cartoon and it it's actually <laughs> Very awful. Now we have to add a uh, lot of things of on the uh, on this you know 3D environment to make it look good. All right. So first of all, we're gonna add some floor, which is we're gonna use uh, here. Create geometry plane and just create some floor. And you can edit the length right here. Make sure it selected the length just like that. Just create a flow and then go to create again and beside the geometry shapes we get lights. <clears throat> so we're gonna choose that and make sure you're gonna choose standard and then omni. We're gonna use omni light and put it anywhere you want and then select and move tools and bring it up and if you click F9 right now it looks well more uh, more good <laughs> so make sure your light is selected and you can go to modify and check this shadows on alright shadows make sure it on and then you get, you're gonna go to shadow parameters and turn down the dense a little bit. Oops, sorry. Be about there, and we're gonna see it looks very good. But the table is not looking so real, so we're gonna add some material to it. But before that, we're gonna change the uh, background so it's not black just like this very boring we're gonna go to rendering uh, environment and then go to here or if you wanna change the color it's okay but I will just go here and go bitmap and you're gonna go to my computer local disk, local disk C program files um, Autodesk 3ds Max 2009 <laughs> I used to do the max 2009 and then maps and then sky I believe yes skies and you gotta choose whatever you want then if we render it out ooh, look at that alright so to add some material you can go to up here and drag this first and you can look at the material editor right here click that or you can just press M just like that for material M on your keyboard so you can right click on whenever you want and make sure it checks so not just six but plenty of it alright so click one of them and you're gonna you're gonna go to here click that you're gonna go to bitmap so it will add some texture, some picture to the material. So we're gonna go to Pro Materials here, and maybe we're gonna choose um, wood. We're gonna find wood here. So where's that wood <laughs> for the table? Ah, let's just pick this, right? So you can add this to the table so if you render it up it will be like that to the feet also to the legs all right now you can check this so we can see ah there you go you can edit the tiling for the texture 
of the wood and then you're gonna click go to parent or default it will be the same <coughs> to brings you to the uh, uh, the top menu and you can add this spec specular level which means the reflection of the light you can see it right here like that then the glossiness to make it more glossy or not then you're gonna go to maps and make sure you click and drag from diffuse color to the bump so what is bump bump is for you know the uh, texture make it more stronger you know for the wood or stone like that. see right so we already create the material for the table now what about the floor we're gonna create another one and we're gonna pick the material let's say ah yeah whatever you want there yeah, actually so you're gonna drag it and if you're gonna click this so you can see what it looks like the tiling right so the maps make sure you click the bump copy oh, okay pick this up and render it it looks really good you can actually add some uh, objects like um, standard here objects teapot make sure the auto grid is checked and you can create a teapot zoom out a little bit you can create another material like you're gonna change the color to red as red as possible and then the specular level up a little bit also the glossy down a little bit so it more and the maps we can go to reflection and click the none and choose ray traced then go to parent and the reflection set it down a little bit maybe 42 and add this to the teapot as you can see the teapot now uh, you know got a reflection a little bit so it looks nice all right everyone we just create a table with a teapot and uh, well everything actually with a floor <coughs> with a material and sorry for my bad English because I'm not actually a good speaker in English all right so you can render it out by press F9 or if you want to render it out I mean you can uh, press F10 then you can see right here you can uh, this is for the um, quality HD you can save it at HD and make sure if you want to uh, create a clip uh, but we are currently not gonna create a clip so single to create to render out just a picture and go to files save it whatever you want as JPEG because it's actually a picture we are going to create animation later and then click render I'm sorry I forgot down here click render alright so that's it everyone please wait for uh, another tutorial for our next tutorial and thank you for watching and please subscribe next we are going to learn another cool thing to create in 3d studios max so see you next time